we had designed the project uh, for the impact of the uh, largest airplane of its time, the, the Boeing 707. The 767 that actually hit the World Trade Center was quite another matter again. First of all, it was a bit heavier than the 707, not very much heavier, but a bit heavier. But mostly it was flying a lot faster. And the energy that it put into the building is proportional to the square of the velocity. As you double the velocity, four times the energy, triple the velocity, eight times the energy, and so forth. And then, of course, with the 707, to the best of my knowledge, the fuel load was not considered in the design. And indeed, I don't know how it could have been considered. But And with the 767, the fuel load was enormous compared to that of the 707. It was a fully fully fueled airplane compared to the 707, which was a landing aircraft. Um, just absolutely no comparison between the two.